Suppose R of T dollars per year is the rate at which the value of your investment portfolio is changing, where T years is the amount of time since January 1st, 2009. Now I need to interpret the following statement using everyday language provided by the context of this integral. 1 to 4 R of T dt equals minus 16,500. Well, before I, you know, just rush into stuff, because I'm not a rusher, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of sleuthing and trying to make sure I understand what everything means. So R of T has a unit of measure of dollars per year. T is in years. And um, January 1st, 2009. So it's in years. The key is uh, 2009, but everything is always starting January 1st, 2009 is where T equals zero. All very important. Now, if I think about how this interval is set up, I'm adding up a sum of the product of R T D T over a time interval from one to four. So these two numbers here is a time interval over which this calculation is taking place. R of T is in dollars per year. D of T or DT, excuse me, is years. So the product of that is giving me dollars over a time period of one to four. Now the problem says the amount of dollars is minus 16,500. So if you're gonna use everyday lingo, like normal people on the street would, you would say, okay, um, well, what's the time element here? Or your portfolio, let's see, let's see, how can we say this? So from what date to what day is your portfolio losing 16,500 money? That's a lot of money. I'd get a new uh, financial advisor in that case. But anyway, so we just have to think about how to say this. So if t equals zero is January 2009, then one is January 2010. 2 is 2011, 3 is 2012, and 4 is 2013. So you can say from January 1st, 2010 to January 1st, 2013, your portfolio loses 16 thousand five hundred dollars and that would be an explanation of that integral in everyday language